What is going on, everyone? All right, what is going on, everybody? I hope everybody had a wonderful, smooth transitioning to the Ignite from from Ignite to the Legacy servers. I know I did. There was some hiccups along the way. I streamed the entire thing, and the people were laughing at me. We had a good time, especially when you had to. I forgot that period. That was ridiculous. Why are they making me do grammar when I just want to play the game? You know what I mean? I want to turn my brain off. I'm not in school anymore, so I thought grammar was past me, but I guess not. But anyway, I'm just yapping here. Today, I wanted to look at the event, boot, Makoko Boot Camp event shop, and see the rewards because there has been some talks about whether this is even worth it. Because, I mean, I haven't done any raids yet. I haven't seen a lot of Makokos, actually. You know, why, why don't we just take a look, right, before we begin? Screw it. So let, let's go with Behemoth here. So off the bat, so originally, if, if you could, you have one Makoko in your lobby, you would see them, like, light up. Kind of like this. The fact that there's not that many Makokos. So here we have this one person, this one striker here. Uh, let's see, over here... Oh, we can't even see those anymore. Let's see this one. See, these ones are going to be tightly gatekept, in my opinion, because of these supports. But yeah, not many supports out there. And what I heard is that the rewards you get for running the raids is not that great. If you notice, it costs 1,200 of these coins, expert tokens, to get the relic engraving. And that's while... Also, trying to get the weekly roster stuff. So, Amazon is basically saying, screw you for trying to help. And trying to get all these weekly roster stuff. We don't care. If you want to save up, you have to run a ton of raids. Now, somebody posted on Reddit kind of the reward distribution. So, let me show it right now. It's this one. So, uh, Voldis Hard Mode. If you have a Makoko person in your raid... You will be getting seven tokens for gate one, another seven for gate two. So Voldis, it will be 14. Normal mode Thane Mine, you would get 21. For hard mode Thane Mine, you would get 30. For normal mode Echidna, you would get 25. For hard mode Echidna, you would get 40. And finally, for Behemoth, gate one and two, you would get 50. So off the rip, doing Echidna hard mode and maybe even Thane Mine hard mode are kind of off the picture, right? Maybe you can kind of carry one Makoko seed, but literally everyone else has to be a reclear. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty, pretty difficult to do hard mode, right? So most people are going to go for Voldis, which is 14, 21, and 25. But then a lot of people, I, I would suggest a lot of people to do Behemoth because Behemoth is one of the easiest raids here, right? I Actually, I think it would be the easiest raid to carry on and you get the most amount of tokens. So let's see here. If you get 50 tokens for clearing Behemoth, what does that mean? Well, what's 1,200 divided by 50? I think that's around 25. Or is my math wrong? Hold on one second. I think it's 25, right? 25 times 50 is 1,200. No, that's 1,250. 1,200 divided by 50 is 24. So let one less. So you would need to do 24 Behemoth Raids before you can even get this reward. Personally, I think that's a little too much, right? Like, don't get me wrong. I love helping the new players, but keep in mind, based on the lobbies we just seen here, there's not that many because of the requirements, right? The requirements are so terrible. The Makoko Leafs are, uh, are welcome. One Makoko, one slot Makoko. Everybody's looking for a Makoko, but in all of these lobbies, only two have shown up. So it's rare. And I am going to say this. There are some people out there, some shady, shady people, so shame on you, that have created another account and are trying to sell their spot. If you are a veteran and you are doing that, then you are kind of a POS, in my opinion. But, I mean, that's besides the point. But anyway, let's... let's so if it was just 24 raids and then you can get your relic engraving book fine right it's 11 weeks long that's perfectly fine with me however remember 
There's all this stuff. I'm pretty sure the expert token is only received from clearing with a Makoko. So you have to give up everything here. So then what was their idea here, right? Because e everybody wants this book. So what is with all this? They, they might as well just kept this one. Just one, right? Because that's all you can work towards. Because with the limited Makoko supply, you're not going to get a lot of points. I'm just going to say that straight up. You really aren't. You just saw it right there. Out of all those behemoth lobbies, only two, right? You're you're most likely not going to be able to clear with a Makoko. You will never get these tokens. And even if you do, a pitiful 50. How is that even reasonable, right? I, I, even if they did like 200, it would still be kind of hard. You have to do six different raids with a Makoko. That's kind of hard. I'm not like, like, come on. Like th this is a little ridiculous. 1200 for 50 might as well just make it like 100, even 200 would have been reasonable in my opinion, but 50, I don't know. So, I mean, somebody's gotta do like basically every single raid with the Makoko, but with the limited amount of supply, I, I don't know how this is going to go. Right. I'm going to be streaming a little later tonight. So shout outs to my stream, everybody. Make sure you guys follow twitch.tv slash no edit Andy. I'm going to be helping out the returning players and the new players who don't have a Makoko seed. I don't give a rat's ass. So I am going to help them regardless of this. Right. But I, it would be nice if I can get a relic book. Otherwise, I'm going to be pretty behind. So it would be nice. But there's a limited supply and you have to run multiple multiple raids i'm talking about 24 different behemoths if you do less behemoths and more bike or not vicus echidnas and they mines and voldis well you got to do more because you don't get as many tokens 50 is the maximum amount of tokens you can get on behemoth so it's going to be more than 24 raids now are we are we can we do that with 11 weeks it's, it's going to be tight it's very tight because remember, all this stuff is weekly roster resetted, right? If you want to have even a chance of getting everything here and then work towards the Relic Engraving Book, then perfect, right? But I know a lot of people who would love to have stuff like the Transcendence Tickets, the Legendary Elixins. Don't get even get started about the 7,000 gold. This is very good for new and returning players, right? That don't have the Makoko Seed thing. Uh, and all these materials, these are all things that people want, but they cannot get because we are locked with such a high, high price of 1200 This is absolutely ridiculous. Now, Makoko Generals is very tempting. I really want this title. I'll probably be getting this title first because if I don't get the Relic Engraving Book, I'm not going to be too sad about it. But I really hope that AGS kind of fixes this. Because this is kind of ridiculous, in my opinion, right? It's, it's a little too hard to get the relic with everything else. But yeah, other than that, yeah, everything, everything else seems kind of reasonable in rewards, right? These little numbers make sense based on how little of a reward you get for clearing with a Makoko. But this is absolutely ridiculous. Now, I might be wrong, right? We might be able to see a lot more Makokos later on in the future. And great! then fantastic then we will always be able to take at least one makoko in our runs 24 times in behemoth and be done with it i hope so but we'll see but anyways this is also kind of a, a, a weird thing right um I don't, I don't know about this one honestly I, I feel like they should have kind of juiced this up to like a 15 plus as well i mean keep in mind this is expert right put this stuff for like the makokos oh they do have it so why does the Makoko have this and then Expert also has this? That that doesn't make any sense to me. Expert means you're a veteran. You want to be going from 1660 to 1680. They should have gave us a few books for that. You know what I mean? But but anyway, okay, whatever. So that, that's about it for that. Um, I think I'm rambling on for a little bit. So I'm going to see what happens on stream tonight. I can't wait. If you're a new Makoko player, just know that... People are going to try, but eventually, if it doesn't seem like they can hit the goal, you are going to get gatekept and people are going to give up. So I really hope that doesn't happen. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.